Bread Eli. Today is February 13th, 2024. Here are your latest Church Milton headlines. In a covert operation, O'Keefe Media Group infiltrated a hotel that houses illegal immigrants using funding from a Catholic organization. The expose uncovered an operation in Tucson that offers migrants a range of services, including meals, hygienic assistance, and internet access, while enriching non-government organizations. The operation for illegal immigrants is apparently funded by Catholic Community Services, which is part of the Tucson Diocese, headed by Bishop Edward Weisenberger. A former Catholic priest in South Carolina is now facing more than two decades in prison for sex crimes. A federal judge on Thursday sentenced Jamie Adolfo Gonzalez Farias to 21 years and 10 months in prison for inappropriately touching an underage boy and showing him pornography. Gonzalez, originally from Chile, was a visiting priest in the Diocese of Charleston from 2015 through 2020. In Western Australia, police have again raided the home of a Catholic bishop owing to child sexual abuse allegations. A child abuse squad searched the home of Bishop Christopher Saunders, former head of the remote Diocese of Broome, for evidence of him allegedly grooming young men as well as financial mismanagement. Last year, the Vatican commissioned an independent report into historic accusations against the 74-year-old bishop. The report described him as a sexual predator. Saunders continues to maintain his innocence. A former Dutch prime minister and his wife died last week in a double euthanasia. Self-identified Catholic Dries von Ock and his wife Eugenie, both 93, simultaneously received a fatal injection. This amid a growing trend in the Netherlands for so-called duo euthanasia. Euthanasia and assisted suicide have been legal for various reasons in the Netherlands since 2002. Such reasons include unbearable suffering and simply a wish for death. A nationwide plan to spread devotion to Padre Pio was inaugurated this weekend in rural Kansas. A chapel containing a first-class relic of the saint opened in St. John the Baptist Catholic Church in Beloy. The St. Pio Foundation, spearheading the project, intends to open four more chapels across the U.S., geographically forming a cross with Kansas Chapel in the center. I'm Brad Eli. Those are your church building headlines. Special thanks to our supporters who make our work possible. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. God bless you.